Hello, families. Let's talk about the school absence tardy and pick up dismissal policies for Lakeland Elementary Middle School, part of the Baltimore City Public Schools. If you're watching this from another Baltimore City school, this may be overall helpful, but always check the specific policies and procedures for your school because they may have a different schedule, for example, or just not use the forms that we use, which is very likely. Um, now let's talk about consecutive absences because this is the main reason why your child will be out, usually because they're sick. If it's less than three days, that's one or two days, there's two things you have to do. And in informal notification from the parent guardian on the morning of the absence, which means you need to call the front office at 410-396-1406, or you can message the homeroom teacher through talking points. Uh, if you haven't downloaded that app, it still sends you, should send you text messages and you can respond to that text message, or you can email them if you have their email, which you should from attending back to school night. Also, it requires a written confirmation from the parent guardian to excuse. And you have three ways you can do that. You can either type and print out uh, a note or you can handwrite a note and include the date of absences, the reason, and sign and date it as a parent guardian. You can also, instead of that, you can fill out an online bilingual note that we have. It's You can put this in your browser on your phone or on your computer or laptop. It's bit.do slash Lakeland Absent Note. And we'll show you what that looks like in a second. You can also fill out a hard copy template that's available at the front office. Your homeroom teacher may have it, but if they don't, you can always check the front office. For now, it's in the document holder in front of the window on the table in front of the office. But if you don't see any, just ask and we'll make a copy for you. And again, turn that into the homeroom teacher or the front office staff soon after student returns. Now, for consecutive absences of three, to, three days or greater, requires a doctor's note to excuse. So again, turn that into the front office staff or the homeroom teacher soon after the student returns. And then make sure we're on the same page. When we say homeroom teacher, for the younger students that just see one main teacher, that's the homeroom teacher. They teach most of the subjects that they have. For the older students that have different teachers for different subjects, that's going to be their first period teacher, the one they see at the start of the day. So in some ways, that teacher is very important and you should know their name. You should know their information if you need to reach out to them because that's when attendance is taken. Now, on the left, you're going to see a, a little bit of, of the online absent note. This is what it looks like when you go to it on your phone or your browser. And there's more for it to fill out, but it's pretty straightforward. It's in English and Spanish. On the right, you're going to see the hard copy template, and you just fill out the things that it tells you, like today's date, the name of the homeroom teacher. You should know that. And then the name of your student, and then what day or dates they were absent. You can do multiple dates if it's the same reason. Check the reason, and if it doesn't apply, you can check other and write it in, and then sign it. Now, below the signature, it's going to tell you, as, as you see, the top is English, the bottom is Spanish. It's going to tell you some main and common reasons that people give that are actually not justifiable for excusing absences, like car trouble, oversleeping, moving, vacationing, or visiting family, and assisting a parent with errands. None of that excuses an absence. So... In 2022 to 23, breakfast started at 8.15 a.m., which was a bit of a schedule shift from the year before, which was earlier. And you have to come in the cafeteria entrance. And the doors open at 8.45 a.m. So always make sure for any school year, if you're watching this in a different year, that you know those specific times uh, for when things happen. And because we've had too many children, that they may arrive on time at the school building. They may be dropped off okay, but they walk around and they waste time. They talk to their friends. They go to the bathroom. They're just meandering around the school. And then they don't walk into their homeroom class until later, like 9 o'clock or later. And that's holding up instruction, and they're missing instruction. So as of November 28th, they will be considered late if they do not arrive and are in their homeroom by 8.50. That is your responsibility to make sure that is happening. Talk to your child about that importance. And make sure you talk to the child's teacher. They should be reaching out to you if it's something that's repetitive and is a problem. Early pickup does not require a note, but for security reasons, when you come to the school to visit for any reason, you have to push the button on the side to let the front office let you in. They may be very busy. We all have over a thousand families at our school, so they may be busy and you just have to wait a moment, but it shouldn't be someone opening the door for you because they see you. You have to, that's for security reasons. And also make sure you bring your picture ID. Never come to the school without your ID. You should never come to the school without it because that is also for security to make sure you are a correct individual that needs to be picking up your child. So leave in a few extra minutes in case there's a lot of families doing the same thing. You have to check their ID before they call down your student for dismissal. And make sure for any given school year, you check the cutoff time for early pickup. For 2022 to 23, it's 3 o'clock. That means for this, this year, if you come after 3 o'clock, you have to wait until dismissal time, which is 325 this year. So for any year, it may be different. But if you come in within that time, that's too late. You're going to have to wait, regardless of the emergency or the reason. 
Now, robocalls are done by the district. That's, those are the calls that they send out that are programmed to let you know that your child is absent. Just as a, just a way to notify, notify in case you weren't aware to make sure that children are not where they're not supposed to be. So they arrive, unfortunately, a little bit late in the day, like around 6 o'clock. We cannot control that. But we're trying to come up with a system that lets you know sooner. So we'll do what we can, but we were working on it for the time being. And some few extra tips. There's no need to turn in a written excuse while your child is still absent. You can wait until they return. But the sooner you do it after they return, the better just so you don't have it go to the back of your mind and then it, you forget. Also, the state is the one that's going to be getting you in trouble if you do not bring your child in, even if they are excused absences. If you have a lot of them, they're going to, the school's going to want to talk to you and then the state's going to want to talk to you. And if you've been doing your due diligence and filling out notes and doing everything, then it's not going to look so bad. But if you haven't been doing that, that looks really bad, especially to be coming up with excuses then. So please do not assume that your child is turning your notes for you. You cannot blame your child. Even if they say they did it, Many of them get lost in their book bag, their locker, or just around the school. So always confirm with your child's homeroom teacher or the front office the day after they say they turned it in, just to make sure it happened. And to reduce unnecessary absences, try to schedule any doctor or dental appointments either early in the morning so they just arrive late instead of missing the whole day, or in the afternoon so you can pick them up early. Same thing. For planned long-term absences of one week or greater, you need to let us know ahead of time, either the front office or your child's homeroom teacher. Do not wait till the day or two before. That is not fair, and we may need to plan some things to for missed work, and that doesn't give the teacher a lot of time. Now, they may just do work when they can return, but that just depends on the situation. Thank you for your co cooperation with all of these policies. If you have any questions, just make sure you contact your child's teacher or the front office. We're happy to help. In the description of the video, we're going to include the links for the online form as well as the hard copy if you want to print it out at home and use that. Otherwise, you can pick them up at the office. Give, give us a thumbs up and like if you found this video to be very helpful. And thank you very much.